That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are doing a deep dive on Children of Bodom. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not Bodom, Children of Bodom. <laughs> no, I think it's Bodom. So <laughs> we are going to be doing a deep dive. We got five songs today from four different albums. I'm super, super stoked. This was a tie winner with Mastodon. So if you haven't seen Mastodon's video, go check it out. It was posted before this. So, uh, but do it after, you know, bestie, you're already here. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, we are so freaking close to 10,000 subscribers, okay? Right now, at the time of this video, we are just past 8,700 and it's growing every single day. Y'all are amazing. Come join the metal journey. We have so much in store. Once we get to 10K, we're gonna have a Twitch. We're gonna hang out, play games, do listening parties, metal reactions, hang out. It's just gonna be super, super fun. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell. Ugh, I hate telling that whole thing so annoying if you want to get notified when i post hit the damn bell if not it's fine um otherwise join the discord uh seriously do that though because it's a really fun environment we're a huge family there and we're growing every single day it's called the mosh pit invite link down below um like and share this video with a friend let me know stuff about children of bodom what do you think about them least favorite record favorite record have you seen them live uh, what's, what's the sitch? What's the deal? So, yeah, that's what I got for the, today's, uh, intro. So, without further ado, let's get into Children of Bottom. <laughs> I'm instantly getting uh, like Megadeth vibes and Iron Maiden vibes. It sounds very old school, if that makes sense. Now that we've listened to like some of the OGs, it sounds like that. Also, I really like this like extra chugginess that they're doing, like da 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 da, -da and then it's like backs off, and then it goes back into it. I really like that. I also really like the lead, the singer's voice. So. Oh, the whisper! There's no way. You're telling me that Epica, the like kings and queens of symphonic black metal, I think that's what it's called, didn't have a heart. And I think they have a heart. That's a heart? Ah! 
keyboard that's like following the guitar that is just the guitar uh but i really like it there's a lot of like really catchy things that they're doing <laughs> song I ever heard still remember finding it on LimeWire as a 12 year old the regal intensity and expressiveness in those solo sections I replayed the track at least half a dozen times and knew instantly that I was listening to the next few years of my life oh my goodness what a sad position one of my greatest influences as a guitarist singer and songwriter has died oh that's right Alexi Okay, hold on. Brief pause, y'all. We have to look at Alexi Leho. Wow. So when did he die? What happened? What does it say? Hold on. Died on December 29th, 2020 due to liver degeneration resulting from years of alcohol abuse. Wow, leaving behind a few songs recorded with Bodum after midnight to be published post you know you mostly goodness. Oh. Finnish guitarist, composer and vocalist, lead guitarist and vocals uh for Children of Bodum. Also the guitarist for Synergy, the local band Kyla Halut and Bodum After Midnight. So what is Bodum After Midnight? Is that like a cousin band to Children of Bodom then. Um, I just wanted to hear what happened exactly because I knew that like their singer had just passed away. Wow. That was recent too. That was like just a few days after just a few days after Christmas. Uh, he looks young too. Dang Bubba. Liver degeneration, huh? All right. I hope you're resting in peace. Um, okay. Let's go to these lyrics. Silent Night, Bodum Night. Um, I really liked... It's gonna sound weird. I really liked the listenability of it. <laughs> I felt like it was very easy on the ears, and not in a bad way, but it was just very, like catchy and groovy and easy listening to like I feel like it gives me the same vibes that I could like that I got when I listened to Megadeth and Iron Maiden um and I really really liked the singer's voice um track two on hate breeder is there anything on this Unreviewed, it says the song is about the mysterious Lake Boda murders from where the band also got their name. Ooh, something told me that needs to be a video, bestie. Um, the Boda murders, huh? 
children of Bodom. Oh, I bet it was children that died in the murders. It's unraveling. <laughs> Let's see. Kimberly Goss, lyricist. Who's Kimberly? Nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Who's Kimberly? Is she the person? Is she like in this band? Please tell me. On the eve of their doom, they are baptized in the unholy waters of Bodom with no hint of the torture awaiting to greet them at the break of dawn for the reaper once more. When the calm is setting in, we'll watch it swiftly disappear. Too many years of silence, soon he's bound to reappear. The reaper is calling for you to come home with the thrust of a switchblade on the grip of a madman and the waters of Bodom turn a bloodshot shade of red as the children of Bodom take their last breath. Oh, my ankle itch is real bad, okay? Real bad. Uh, this may be the description of the Lake Bodom murders where some camping teenagers were stabbed and murdered. Out of four, only one survived who went insane in an asylum. Jesus. What a dope name, though. Children of Bodom, and that's like what you name your band after? Are you kidding? All right. All right. Um, yeah. Great. Great track. In love with it. Super happy with it. Very strong start, I would say. Okay. So now we are going to the next year, to the year 2000, with their album Follow the Reaper. We have two songs off of this record. So the first song is going to be Every Time I Die. so far she's starting groovy um I feel like now that we've experienced so, so much different metal so much different metal um I feel like this is like feels slower and just a little bit more like not a slow burn but like a soft bop <laughs> if you put it in like pop terms <laughs> Definitely. Um, and it sounds like they, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised for the year 2000, but it sounds like they also have like one of those fake synth choirs keys because it's like following the notes like exactly. Um, it's not my favorite. I have a keyboard that makes those exact noises. <laughs> But it's not bad. It's a nice layering piece. It just, for me, it sounds a little, it dates the song. It dates the song. And it's like, 
it's hard for me to place exactly what kind of genre it is because I feel like it wants to be symphonic metal, but it's not, I don't think. I wanted him to do more with the keys because he could rip that's one thing that I feel like he's not doing at least in this song he's not ripping and I want him to rip I love a good keys and I love a good key solo okay I also really liked the bend that the guitarist did wow I don't know can't I can't exactly remember it but in his solo he did this oh, really nice bend and I liked his guitar tone too. Very easy listening. Like, I could jam to this, like, anytime. I definitely could easy jam this, like, at the gym and stuff like that. Um, when I'm getting my sweat on. That's what I could see myself doing. <laughs> Goodness, the Grim Reaper just went ham on you. No, I don't want to hear Mastodon. We already did that. Oh, gosh. Rest in peace, wild child. Your heart's going to stay with us forever. Stop it. Okay, I don't want to cry. Another metal legend who left us way too soon, Rip Alexi. This was one of the very first songs I ever heard from you guys, and I was hooked. So very grateful to have had the chance to meet you all in Charlotte in 2019, yet sad that it would be my last COB show. Rest in peace, Alexi. Your legendary music will live on. Oh my gosh. The Reaper took him, but his amazing music will stay with us. Oh, sad. So sad. But it's okay. Because at least we can remember him now. Every time I die, I jump in the bottom. Let's see, anything on this? Nothing about this. I also really like this album cover. It's very cool. It just reminds me of one of those, like, 80s 
like kids cartoons like from the scary books we got some of those in the uh, metal unboxing it reminds me of some of those every time I die so they worked with a different person this time also what's the sitch with this record so they had one record come out in 99 and then this one in 2000 um what's kind of the backstory with that because that's a if y'all have been watching my channel for a while you know that I've said many times that back-to-back -back albums like that it's a lot it's a lot to record a full album and this is 11 songs like that's a lot <laughs> and it's not an easy thing to do especially to do that with like a year time so I guess their label usually it's just like their label is like pushing it so is that kind of the backstory of it out of strength to fight I cannot take another night I cannot take it no more. Lust of light slips through my fingers like blood on my arms. Black candle wax has buried me. Another night, another demise. Cadaverous wind blowing cold as ice. I let the wind blow out the light because it gets more painful every time I die. Ugh. I feel like those are bars. None of this is reviewed, but it says he won't resist this time because Alexi knows... Where'd you go? Because he knows that tomorrow the same winds will try to extinguish his life again. The pain acc acc accumulates, goodness, over time being greater each night. The faint blaze of the candle of my life slowly dying like a fire in a pouring rain. No sparks of hope inside. No shooting stars on my sky. Describe the feeling of loneliness and depression and hopelessness. His candle, his life has no spark left. It's been extinguished and now there's no hope for him. Hmm. Alexi says there are no shooting stars on his sky. Interesting. If you know more about this song, let me know. Um, because I definitely am interested. So far... I'm liking what we're hearing. Like I said, it's kind of easy listening. Um, I'm not hearing anything that's like wicked technical. Um, I like the technical stuff. I like things that are extreme. I like things that are bold. Um, but I also like other types of things, you know? I mean, I listen to everything. So I feel like, yeah, very easy listening um, for me. Something I could turn on when I'm studying. I got the boop, 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 boop. Headphones need to be charged, bestie. Not right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's easy listening. It's not offensive. It's not like boring me to tears by any means. So... So the next song we're going to listen to called Mask of Sanity. I want to see what Alexi was like live since we're honoring him in this video. Is this Alexi?
love this riff. Oh man, and the starting riff too is so catchy. It really reminds me of like Megadeth. He's got a, such a good live voice. Oh my gosh. And his head banging and everything. Oh, he looks so dope with his hair just going all over the place. I'm here for it. I think this one is better than the other two, in my opinion. Security holding back the mosh pit. doing the whole like, I don't know, fills, <laughs> little buzzy fingers. <laughs> this show looks really fun. Looks so incredibly fun. And they, uh, they have some just, I don't know, their songs are so catchy. I could totally see myself listening to this. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just so impressed that he can have such a calm voice in the interview, but be like belting out notes like that. He looks so nice. My heart hurts. <laughs> My heart hurts. <laughs> oh man. What are the comments? Such a legend. Ugh. His death like really hurt this community. Oh my gosh, a mellow death icon. So what is Children of Bodom? Hold on, I'm just gonna look, because I want to make sure. Children of Bodom. Melodic death metal. Okay. Melodic death metal. So there's symphonic black metal, so this is melodic death metal. Have we had melodic death metal on this channel? It's probably a really dumb question. I don't know, we've listened to so much music on this channel, like almost 30 bands, y'all. We're close. I understand the genre now. I understand what I'm listening to now. Okay, the keyboards, the keyboards kind of make it more melodic death metal right? What do you think about the keys being in, in the music? Um, also, are you a fan of melodic death metal or is it really not your thing? Um, Master of Sanity. It's called that, right? Mask of Sanity. Just kidding. Why are there no notes on any of this stuff? You want credits? 
Released on October 30th, 2000, written by Alexi. Oh yeah, this comes after Every Time I Die. Does it like, does is it like a hard stop between the two songs or do they go together? I would assume it's probably a hard stop. Um, no notes. I can't waste away. I'm slowly getting my way forever. Better is when I used to be alone. Shattered lights, sin and taint. Days growing longer, wait for pain. I cannot wait another night to be with you. Peace of mind, you run away from me. So make me lose my mask of sanity. Oh, love that. Peace of mind, you run away from me. So make me lose my mask of sanity. What a great lyric. What a great rhyme. <laughs> Dang, voices are calling me, be my knight, be my knight, this devil's sigh, yeah, shadows are tainting me, yeah, I know that only you can render pain. Okay, if you have any notes on this song, let me know. Mask of Sanity, I'd be down to know. So now, we are going to three years later to Hate Crew Death Roll which is their 2003 record, and we are going to listen to Needled 24-7. to me but I really really like the vocal effect that he has that massive drive that he has is like mmm it's so good because his his scream is just so nice and I finally placed now I understand what the genre is that this is I placed it as it's like Megadeth-y Iron Maiden mixed with like Epica and Demo Demobile Gear I think that's how you pronounce it um it's like that, cause, but it's on a much tamer scale. So it's still very like catchy, it's still very commercial, um, but there's elements of both of those things. <laughs> play then they cut out for like a measure while the drums just fill that little space and then everybody comes back in really really nice I feel like you would miss that but I feel like live that would be sick oh and it was such a clean stop too oh I liked that <laughs>
nasty. Oh. 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 So the groove, the vibe changed. We were, we were grooving. We were like, mmm, saucy grooving. And now we're in this section. They picked it up a little bit. They changed it again. And this little keyboard sound. Da da! It's a nice layering piece. Da da! I don't know. It's just so. It's an. I don't know. I like it! <laughs> transition did you hear that again they backed off but it's almost like they just like singled out one symbol and like gave it a little bit of reverb and then everybody came back in that was really nice there's some really catchy riffs that are going through this song that you could just hum to and I feel like the more I listen to children of Bodom like I'd be able to I feel like the riffs and stuff would like really be the hook for me. <laughs> Thank you for the childhood, Alexi. God, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Don't you judge. I'm really not I'm not gonna cry. Oh, don't you just love randomly finding an amazing band? Remember hearing this song from a friend when I started first started playing music with him, and I always thought it was badass. Rest in peace, Alexi. Oh my gosh. This is for sure one of my top ten metal songs. Solo still gets me every time. Oh my gosh. I love that so many people just like loved and appreciated Alexi and appreciated this band. I'm definitely curious to like listen to more because I mean I mentioned it so many times. Easy listening. So I feel like I'm definitely gonna spend more time. I'm probably gonna put them on tomorrow at the gym and see how I feel because it's always different you know like first impressions are one thing. Um, where am I at? Needled 24-7. First impressions are one thing, but when you actually, like, listen to a song in your car or you're, like, doing something else, it hits differently. No freaking notes on any of this stuff. It looks like they have the same producer as their first record. I wonder if they stuck with the same one. Hold on. Needle 247... Children of Bodom, Lake Bodom, hmm, I'm not seeing the blue album, so maybe he didn't, he decided he didn't want to work on that one. I really love this album cover, because their, like, logo looks very, I mean, they're a Finnish band, so it's very, like, Finnish, <laughs> I guess you could say. It just reminds me of, like, Epica and Opeth. Um, 
which I know they're not all finished, but you know what I mean. But I love that the Grim Reaper is like their main person. Since day one, I've been crass and far beyond. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't cry. Before you gouge me, take a look at yourself. Condescending, out living in a lie. Despite all the pain in my heart grinding through, it ain't due that you hate that I hate what you do. Ooh, despite all the piety, piety that you've been consuming thus far, a backstabbing mother effer to the bone is what you are. Dang, mother. You just put that whole word in there. Mm. And every day when the knife in my back starts to twinge and turn, my eyes are catching fire and my heart starts to burn. A foot away from you is like a bit closer to heaven. Then again, it's like being needled 24-7. Why does this read like Slipknot lyrics? Not a bad way. Just feels like bars. <laughs> it feels like we're smacking some bars around. <laughs> Oh man, rest in peace, Mr. Alexi. You had an amazing voice. Okay, we are on to our very last song for the video, and it is a personal request from one of my lovely viewers and Discord members, King Magpie. This one's for you, also. Um, recommended by you. It is called All for Nothing and it is from the 2015 album I Worship Chaos. sound is better. I also think the keyboard sound is that corny in my opinion because of the the time period for keys for that kind of synth. It sounds so much better now. Children of Bodom isn't as good, but this is the type of keys that I really am used to and that I like. Um, and it's it's a real piano, at least it sounds like it's a real piano. Love the reverb on it. Nice clean. I got rid of all that like synthy synth, cheesy synth, the cornball synth. Um, also, can we talk about the vocals that he did? It was almost like like he was emulating like a dying breath. Seems relatively difficult to maintain that, honestly, because it's like a whisper, but he's like kind of talking, and there was like a little bit of like little bits of squeak in there. Ooh, and it almost sounded like two different voices too, the way he was doing it.
back vocals. Good call back vocals. Ah, they, ooh, perfect for crowd interaction. You already know. You already know. You've seen all my videos. I love when artists do that. Mm, nice little layer. an extreme injustice by not amplifying that solo because I don't know what the guitarist was I think Alexi is the guitarist too I don't know if he's the main one but but he was feeling it that day in the studio that there was emotion in that this is a banger this is like yeah this is a soft banger and it it mmm it's getting me my feels it's like a really good like little slow burn. <laughs> Okay, that ending was actually so nice. Like, live, that would be so... Fire. <laughs> but they're not playing live anymore. But I feel like if they performed that live... <sighs> you would just get this, like, dueling banjo style, like, melodic riff off. <laughs> between, that's basically what it was. It was guitar and keys and there were a couple moments there where the guitarist was doing like the exact same thing as the keys note for note basically um that keyboardist is really really nice and honestly the solo this final solo that he played was really really nice regardless of the tone that is just personal choice for me it was really really nice um there are no comments on this video but that's okay because we're gonna look at the all for nothing. Uh, children. No 
nobody listens to children of Bodom here. A genius. Open your eyes, what have you done? I've been back, forth, stuck, yet spun. Ugh, bars. Too keyed to lie still, too tired to run. I can't believe it's come to this. It's safe to say that ignorance is bliss. Bittersweet goodbye and one last kiss. Forever is a long time that I won't miss. Too tired to run, it's getting late. Make up your mind, I was never your kind. This is going to hurt me, black and blue, but done you don't, Don, what? That is a tapo, genius. But something you think that no one measures up to. Hmm. Nothing about the song. What does the Metal Archives have to say? Metal Archives, Children of Bodom. Since genius is exceedingly dry, they split up. No longer a band. So sad. So they started in 97 with the Carpenter, it looks like. Split full length. Right? This is so hard to read. I'm not sure what is like an album or what's not. I'm assuming bold is album. And then everything small is more like an EP sort of thing and singles. So follow the Reaper 2000 full length album, something wild. What do you think of their first record? Something wild. Then we have hate reader 99, 87% likes. So what happened? He just recently died. So they released this full length album in 2019 and then were they working on another album when Alexi died? Also like what's the sort of backstory of his condition? Like was it known that he had health issues throughout the career? Or that he was an alcoholic throughout his career? Um, was it ever a concern to you guys as fans or to um, the band members and stuff that he had this issue or did it kind of just come up out of nowhere because obviously if you have that much of a problem with your liver like you're well you're drinking you're drinking a lot um so I'm curious to know if he was like in the hospital for a long time I guess that's my question is like were they trying to record an album while he was in the hospital like dealing with this and it was really starting to flare up was it an issue during 2019 when they were recording and releasing Hexed or I Worship, I Worship Chaos? Was that like a growing issue? I'd be interested to, to hear what your thoughts are. Um, members. Oh, 2020. So what is Bodom After Midnight? Also split up. So they formed in 2020, and that's it. So what is Bodom After Midnight? Formed after Children of Bodom dissolved. So they dissolved before Alexi died. Lori Solomonella, I don't know what her last name is, Solama, was initially announced as a live keyboardist. However, it was... Wow, Bubble was that Billy who performed at all three of the band's live shows and played keyboards on the EP. Mm. Band effectively ended in December after Alexi's death, even though the information about his passing wasn't known until early January 2021 when it was speculated. They kept it secret? Ooh. Please let me know more. I'm very interested to understand what happened. Also, what did you think of their EP, Bodom After Midnight? Um, what did you think of this Paint the Sky with Blood EP? Um, power Metal, Melodic Death, Power Metal. Okay. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Um, all right. That is, um, that's our video on Children of Bodom. What did you think? What did you think about today's video? What did you think of the songs? Um, I know some of y'all 
who watch my videos don't know these bands or haven't listened to some of these bands, so it's your first listen, what did you think? Um, if you are a Children of Bodom fan, what's your favorite song out of these five? Do you like um, the newer stuff, the newer albums? And uh, I really want to know like what the impact is of Children of Bodom in terms of like the metal history, um, what their impact was post-2000, because their first record came out in 97, um, when sort of like the new metal bang was happening, um, so I'm curious to know what the deal was. Ooh, Epica released their first record in 99, too. Interesting. I'm learning so much. Every time we do these videos, I learn so much, and the timeline just keeps growing. So I am very interested to know more. Um, so let me know. Let me know stuff down below in the comments. Again, make sure you subscribe. Join our metal journey. I post weekly videos, y'all. Got so much planned for this YouTube channel. We're going big, and we're not going home. So make sure you join the uh, the channel. Join the Discord. We also do a metal unboxing. So if you want to send me something to be featured in the metal unboxing. Go check out the metal unboxing number one video, and then the P.O. box is also down below. You can send me stuff there. Um, yeah. Kind of what I got. Um, so, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, and whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I hope that you are safe. I hope that you are doing good. Um, I send my well wishes to you, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.